Welcome to Global Automatics. This video shall take you through the build-up of the Premier Slide Telescopic 134. These are the parts supplied. Building the back carriage assembly. Select the mounting plates, top channel and the two smaller door hanging brackets from the back carriage assembly. 1. Slide the mounting plates into the top channel. 2. Slot the hanging bracket into the top mounting plates. 3. Tighten the bolts on the mounting plates. Initially hand tight and then with a 13mm spanner. Repeat this process for the other side. Two, building the slave leaf. Select the long arm and the short arm carriage assembly, the studding and four 12mm Allen bolts. One, line up the back carriage assembly that was just assembled with the long and short arms as shown. Two, fix into position as shown using the Allen bolts and tighten. Three, line up the studding nuts and the washers to match the positions of the bracket on the long and short arm carriage assembly. Make sure the washers are either side of the bracket. Four, tighten the nuts as appropriate to secure the studding in place. Three, building the master leaf, select the two larger door hanging brackets, remaining channel, six Allen bolts, four mounting plates, belt clamp and carriage assembly. One, slide mounting brackets into the channel as before. Two, slot on the larger door hanging brackets. Three, tighten the bolts. Four, fit the carriage assembly as shown using four Allen bolts. Five, tighten the Allen bolts. Six, use the remaining two Allen bolts and fit the belt clamp. Stage four, completing the slave belt assembly. Select the belt clamp as shown. One, slot into the top track, central 25 mil grub screw. Two, place belt into clamp. Three, tighten as shown. Stage five, inserting the slave assembly. One, insert the slave assembly as prepared earlier by slotting into the top track. Two, wrap the belt around the front idler wheel. Three, tighten each end nut on the studding to tension the belt. Stage six, inserting the master assembly. Select the connecting belt clamp. One, insert the master assembly as prepared earlier into the lower track. Two, Two. 
adjust the anti-risers as shown. Three, fix the connecting belt clamp to the slave belt. Four, fix the connecting belt clamp to the rear master carriage assembly and tighten. Stage 7. Fitting the end stops. Select the two end stops. 1. Slide the end stop into the second running rail. 2. Ensure a 50mm overlap to the top rail. 3. Repeat the insertion of the end stop for the other side. Stage 8. Inserting the securing nuts. Select 20 nuts. 1. Slide 12 nuts into the top slot. Two, slide eight nuts into the bottom slot. Three, roughly position as shown. Note, the positioning of the nuts can initially be roughly placed as individual fitting of components will cause correct final positioning. Stage 9. Fitting the motor gearbox. Select the motor gearbox, one cable strap and eight Allen bolts. 1. Insert six Allen bolts by hand as shown. Two, tighten as appropriate. Three, fit the cable strap with two Allen bolts, ensuring the cable is not trapped, and position centrally behind the cable strap. Stage 10, fitting the Premier Slide control panel. Select the Premier Slide control panel and two Allen bolts. One, line the control panel up to the top rail. Two, fit two Allen bolts to the left and the right of the Premier Slide control panel. Three, slide the Premier control panel into position and fix the motor gearbox plug into the socket of the Premier Slide control panel. 4. Tighten Allen bolts as appropriate. Stage 11. Fitting the idler pulley wheel. Select the idler pulley wheel and 4 Allen bolts. 1. Line the idler pulley wheel to the right as shown. 2. Insert 4 Allen bolts as shown and tighten. Stage 12. Fitting the canopy stay arm. Select the canopy stay arm, four Allen bolts, canopy arm screw and one cable strap. 1. Line up the cable strap. 
2. Insert the Allen bolts and tighten. Three, line up the canopy stay arm. Four, insert the Allen bolts and tighten. Five, line up the remaining nut and insert the canopy arm screw. Stage 13, fitting the belt bracket. 1. Insert the belt into the front carriage assembly belt clamp and temporarily secure the clamp. 2. Wrap the belt around the idler pulley wheel. Three, guide the belt to the left hand side around the motor gearbox. Four, run the belt back to the belt clamp. Five, cut the belt to the appropriate size. Six, release the belt clamp and refix into position with both ends of the belt installed. Stage 14. Tension belt with the idler pulley wheel. 1. Adjust the tension as shown by tightening the bolts on the idler pulley wheel. 2. Check belt tension. 3. Tighten the securing bolts on the idler pulley wheel. Four, check the movement. Stage 15, fitting the end plates. Select the two end plates and 10 end plate screws. One, line up the end plate. Two, Insert five end plate screws and tighten as shown. Three, repeat for the other side. Stage 16. Fitting the canopy. Select the canopy. 1. Slot the canopy into position at the top back. 2. Guide the canopy down into the resting position. 3. Fit the two remaining end plate screws. Congratulations on the assembly of your Global Automatics Premier Slide Telescopic 134. For this and additional products and other instructional videos, please visit www.global-automatics.com.